All right, the Minnesota Vikings just paid the Detroit Lions a huge favor. I mean, they really helped us out here. And I want to talk about this for a second. But first, I'm going to give the double thumbs up because I've learned that does fireworks. All right, dude, seriously, this is awesome. The Minnesota Vikings, let's let's get to this really quick. I don't want to mess around with this for very long. Um, here you go. The Minnesota Vikings have named Nick Mullins as the new starting quarterback. Brrr. Thank you so much. And we understand the Vikings offense has been broken. Jobs had, you know, he came in that first game and then he played hard the second game. But then the last two games have been garbage. Like it's been really bad for Dobbs. They could muster a whole, what, 10 points against the Chicago Bears. Then last week, just one of the most pathetic games in NFL history in a 3 0 victory. How many times do you score three points and win in the modern NFL? But they did. And coming off a win, they benched their quarterback. And it's time for Nick Mullins, who's been out with an injury. He's been hurt. So maybe this was the plan all along. Here's the thing about Nick Mullins. And I'm just going to say this. He's better than Josh Dobbs. He is. He is a better NFL quarterback than Josh Dobbs is. You can completely disagree with me. That's fine. I'll go into why I think he is. So you might be asking yourself the question, then Craig, why are you saying that the Vikings just did the Detroit Lions a huge favor? Because the Detroit Lions have proven under Aaron Glenn, and this isn't just one of those things where it's like, oh, you're just saying it because it's the easy thing to say. No, we are terrible against running quarterbacks. We're bad. We're bad. We're bad. We leave receivers wide open. We don't pressure the way that we should. We don't blitz the way we should because we're not confident that we can keep them in the pocket. And we're afraid of giving up big runs to running quarterbacks. So what we end up doing instead is giving up chunk pass plays because we play a soft zone. We end up giving up 10, 15, 20 yard pass plays all over the place. And even if they're not accurate, the receivers are running so wide open that it doesn't matter. Fields last week, I will stick to my guns on this. Fields was not good last week. He was overthrowing receivers. He was throwing it high. He was throwing behind. Like his accuracy was terrible, but people were so open it didn't matter. So now when Dobbs, similar, I really do believe a similar quarterback to Fields in some respects, not as good. I understand that. He's leaving and Nick Mullins, who's better, is coming in. So why am I happy? Because we can't play running quarterbacks. Nick Mullins is a good quarterback. And I just want to, um, and I'll show this real quick just so you can get an idea of some of the stats. He has 17 career starts, exactly one season of career starts. Most of those starts came with the San Francisco 49ers. In those starts, he has a 5-12 and 12 record. He wasn't winning with Shanahan. Now, that 49ers team was not as good as the one that is now. Okay, it didn't have the talent of the one now, but it was a talented team. And in that, those 17 starts, he has 27 touchdowns and 23 interceptions with 5,100 yards. Dude slings it all over the field. He slings it all over the field, but he also throws interceptions up and down the field. Like crazy. When you go and you look at his uh, ratings of the two seasons that he actually played about half the season, it was 2018 and it was 2020. All right. And both times he starts out hot and then it starts to cool off because defenses start to figure it out that he doesn't have incredible arm strength. Honestly, in some ways, unfortunately, it's similar to Goff, but he takes more chances than Goff. So in the two seasons that he played, with the San Francisco 49ers, he had a PFF grade of 56.9 and 64.6. So his rookie year, he played the best football of his career. Then it started going downhill in his second year. He was still throwing for yards, um, still throwing at a decent clip of yards per game, but he was a one-to-one -one interception to touchdown ratio at 12 touchdowns and 12 interceptions. This is good news for us because Nick Mullins is going to come in. He is going to be a lesser version of Kirk Cousins back there. 
That's what he is. He's not as good. He's going to throw for more uh, interceptions. He's not going to make as many completions. I don't know if Justin Jefferson's coming back, so he's not going to have as many people to throw to. Um, and we just we don't know what all that's going to be. But we have two games now where we have to win one. We have to win one game, ladies and gentlemen, to make it to the playoffs. And I know what you're thinking because I've been reading articles and I've been seeing all the comments and I've been seeing the comments on our channel and people are like, I can't believe you're satisfied with just making the playoffs. I'm not. Woo! I'm not. No way. I'm not satisfied with just making the playoffs. But I am satisfied with getting into the playoffs in any way, shape, or form. And then, and by any way, shape, or form, that's false. By winning the division. I want to win the division. I want to make the playoffs. And all we have to do to win the division is win one more. <laughs> that's pretty much it. The Green Bay Packers just lost to the Giants. They're 6-7. and seven. If we beat the Vikings, like, do we, I mean, would two guarantee? Yes. But basically, it's one more game and we're in. And like with all the teams that are sitting at seven and six or six and seven, that's what it's setting up to be. And even in the division itself, if we beat the Vikings in one of the two games that we have against them, even at 10 and seven, there is a very high percentage that we make the playoffs. We have home field advantage for the playoffs, not for the playoffs, but for the first round. And yes, then would I be satisfied if we had a first round victory in the playoffs? We get a victory and then we lose in the divisional round. Am I happy? No. Am I satisfied? Yes. When we started this season, everybody wanted to make the playoffs. They wanted to win the division, make the playoffs, and win a home playoff game. Those were the goals. Nobody was saying going into the season, we need to win the Super Bowl. And then we start off guns blazing, red hot. We beat the Chiefs, right? Up until that game against Baltimore, everything's looking great. And we're like, wait a minute, do we have a chance? Right now, it's just getting back on track. Let's get a victory against the Broncos at home. Let's find a way to pull that out. I know they've been playing really, really well. That would be a huge and solid victory for our team. So maybe we can beat the Broncos, and then we just got to win one game against the Vikings. They just did us a huge favor because Nick Mullins, while he is a better passer of the football, he is and clearly works better in this system for the Minnesota Vikings. He is someone that we are able to stop better than Dobbs, and I'm sticking to that. So let me know if you feel differently. Leave a comment if you feel differently, if you feel the same. Are you happy Nick Mullins is the starter going forward? Would you rather play him or Dobbs? What's your thought process on this? Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.